Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, there is a new villager friend who has moved into town. Of course, if you saw last episode, you would know that it is Lionel, so we're gonna be going and saying hi to him, welcoming, welcoming him to the town, and just sort of enjoying the fact that we now have eight villagers. I was wrong, I thought that there was only a maximum of eight villagers in this game. Apparently, there's a maximum of 10 or something, so I guess there's still more villagers we can get throughout the game, which is cool, but for right now, we got some mail. It's probably just a KK Slider song, but we'll check together. Um, so yeah, we got the Nook shopping right here. It is uh, Rockin' KK, and we also have from Nook Incorporated, a new resident moved to a plot you set up. As a small token of our appreciation, we've put a thousand Nook miles into your account. We hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. I will. And a letter from Pashmina. Uh, to the hardworking zebra, you know I have no patience for slacking off, but that ain't the same thing as taking breaks. Even I can't go 100% all the time. Something's gonna give. Life's already tough, so you don't gotta make it tougher. Your best bud, Pashmina. Thank you for the words of advice. I appreciate it. It is important, of course. Hard work, hard, working hard is important, but also resting is very important as well. So yeah, we'll take a look around and sort of see what's going on for today. We already got our first fossil spot right over here. <laughs> And yeah, we'll just want to get to it today. I'm super excited for it to say hi to Lionel and see how he's liking the town so far for his first day that he's moved in. Um, and here's the other fossil spot already. So hopefully we find five or six fossils in today's episode. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we'll also have to go and buy a new plot of land and try to figure that out soon too. Um, I'm not really sure what that's going to end up being like, but uh, we'll probably do it up on that incline just like we did with Lionel. Maybe we'll make an incline to that final top area. But seeing how that's currently our junkyard, maybe that's not a good idea. But maybe another villager has also opened up our star ranking. I would really hope that's not what I, I do that every day. I really gotta stop doing that. Simple wooden fence, put it back. Oh, right here. No, 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 <laughs> come on. <laughs> Hi, Gigi, we'll talk to you in just a moment if you don't mind. Um, perfect, all right. Hi, Gigi. Why, you seem well, don't you, Ribet? Uh, I wanna chat. There's something about this time of day. I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh my, what was I saying? <laughs> I know the feeling. It's sort of like, it's always a good time for a nap, like a sunny afternoon nap. Why is there something I can help you with, Rebet? Uh, what's the latest? So you went about the island yesterday hitting various rocks, eh? How do I know, you ask? Uh, because I can hear you, bonk, 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 bonk. My goodness, how that sound travels. Sorry, <laughs> I certainly hope you got something nice after making all that racket. I apologize, I'll try to be a little bit quieter with my rock hitting. But hey, money comes out of the rocks and very useful items that I really needed to make the most of. Oh, she's watering the flowers for me, thank you. I don't know if that actually does anything, but hopefully it does. Oh, I think we do have this, um, uh, this butterfly, but I always forget, so I wanna make sure. Maybe we have one that looks similar to it? No, it's an agrius butterfly, okay, yep. But I'm glad that we got that because who knows, Flick might be around. Of course, CJ was here yesterday, so who knows who's gonna be here this time around. If anybody, I hope that red shows up soon too. Uh, really looking forward to maybe that might be the thing. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep going right now. Did I hear, no, I heard a bug. I thought I heard maybe a, uh, a balloon traveling. But yeah, I know right now all we're doing is collecting flowers. Doesn't seem like the most productive thing, but it is what I gotta do. I just wanna make sure I get these for the extra cash and stuff. Might as well, right? Even if they're only like 10 bells each, they do stack up over time. Um, yeah, we'll just take a look, look around. We already talked to G and oh, look at this. Some of our uh, fruit trees are going in. Awesome, so I'm excited about that. Just wanna take a look around for right now though. I'll, I'll pick those in a second. Is there anything else around here? Maybe more fossil spots. I did see red over there. Very good. So maybe we'll take a look at that later today. There's a lot going on, of course, but I'm sure that we can make the most of that. Go ahead and do that. Awesome, grab that stick. But yeah, red is here. We've been waiting for him, so we'll, we'll say hi to him either today. I don't know how much, you know, how much things are to do in today's episode, so maybe we'll actually say that for next episode. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we already got most stuff cleared out around here. Just trying to make extra sure of everything else. But I guess we can start with the rocks too. I I did check and we have like a good two or 300 iron nuggets. So I might not worry about it too much at this point. Just save some durability on my shovels, you know? If I get the money rock, that's awesome. Like I might just, whenever I do run into the money rock, I might just be done hitting rocks for the day after that. I mean, the only thing is that I do have to find more golden nuggets. So maybe it's worth it to keep at it. But beyond that, I'm not too worried. It is everything else. We have so many of it. And we have so many rocks. More than I could count. 
Uh, oh, it looks like we already got Nook Miles. Yeah, what other Nook Miles things do we have going on today? We have Hitting Rocks, which got us 200. Um, if we craft three things, we get five times 150, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's 750 in total, so that's pretty cool. Um, access your wardrobe should be easy, catch five fish. Catch a zebra turkey fish, I'll try, and catch five bugs. Wait, oh, okay, I was gonna say, didn't I already catch a bug? Why didn't that count? Because that's not a daily double, that just showed up there. So if we see any more bugs, we'll be sure to grab them. So I doubt Flick will be around because of the fact that uh, Red is here. But hey, maybe. I do wanna grab that little bug. But first, let's do that. And where did it go? Oh, I think it's gone. I have no clue. I think once it, oh, there it goes, I was gonna say, once it travels far enough. But we got it, it's a pill bug. We'll be selling that. And I'll pick up all this. But yeah, I'm glad that we're making like a little orchard by the campsite. That's definitely going to be helpful when it comes to uh, just sort of getting more money flowing in every day. There's GG again, chilling out on the beach. I did not check the beach over this way. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it's 4 p.m. So I guess the, uh, the alarm sounds. Oh, there's Biff. I was gonna say, he's not at his house. He's chilling out near the tree. I, re I read that sitting like this is the best way to work your core muscles. I, I guess, yeah, good posture is probably good for your core. You wanna sit here? Sorry, my legs are so tired from my last workout. I couldn't get up if I wanted to. You can always roll out of the way, but I don't wanna move you anyways. And then he gets up. It was a big lie. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways, what else is going on around here? Not too much, there's one shell. No message in the bottle yet, but I did see the fossil spot over here, so I definitely wanna take that. So that's already three fossils. We're going through it pretty quick. Oh, and there goes our shovel. Do we have a replacement? Did I buy that already? I think I did. Um, Yep, I did, so we have another colorful shovel this time. Oh, why did I have two shovels? I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, this one is very colorful. We have not had this shovel before. Awesome. Get a money tree thing here too. And I will just put that away. Uh, where did it go? Oh yeah, I went right here. <laughs> Burying hole. Awesome. See, what is supposed to be there? I guess my um my axe. My no, that's also starred. Oh, my fishing rod. Okay. So let's favor that as well. Right there. Okay, very nice. So Kyle's home, Pashmina's home. We'll go and talk to the both of them. See how that's going on. Always is fun to catch up with the villagers each day and just sort of see the different things they're up to. He's crafting, that's cool. Uh, oh, Zebra, welcome to the house, the house of Kyle. What you doing? Glad you asked, right now I'm making a wonderful and amazing gold armor. I got the idea to make it from a crazy dream I had the other night and then he forgets to dream, but I just wanna learn about the armor. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is interesting. Golden armor. <laughs> For playing Minecraft, I'd be super happy. But uh, here, I don't know, really, can we wear the golden armor? Is it just like a statue? Do I need the golden nuggets? Probably. But yeah, with that done, we got ourselves uh, another rock to hit right over this way. Just a normal one, okay. Not a money rock. I will get as much as I can from it. Come on, one more. There it is. So we got a good couple iron nuggets out of that. Always good to expand the collection, I suppose. Maybe we should just keep going until we have thousands of everything. Maybe that's the best bet. I do need to collect more wood, for sure. And we'll do that once we uh, start hitting some of those trees for the fruit. We'll, we'll also hit it for some wood, too. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, she's not doing so well. Are you under the weather? <laughs> she's already in her jammies and everything. I can't believe I got floored by a little cold. I don't want to want you catching this, so you should keep a, your di uh, da, uh, your di da chew. Oh, I'll get you some medicine if you want. What chewy? I like how it's, it's chewy, not chew. Ugh, this isn't fun anymore. I gotta get some medicine, but I don't think I'll make it to the store. I'll help you out. Don't worry, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Poor Pashmina. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get her some medicine real quick. We'll do that now. You know, we have a decently full inventory, so I can sell some of that and then get her some medicine. Shouldn't be no big deal. We will also be able to see what's available for shopping today. I don't know if I'll be able to buy any of it just yet. I don't have too much money on me. Um, oh, there was like a nice little poster board back there. Hello, hello. Yep, I'm gonna sell you some stuff right now. 
So, what do we have that we can offer up? Some flowers, for sure. Uh, some bugs, some shells, nothing too crazy. Of course, once we uh, assess these fossils, we'll probably be able to sell some of those, but a quick 5,000 bells to start off today. It's only been 10 minutes, so I think that's pretty good. Um, and then we, we're gonna ignore most of this for now, so that I can buy medicine and just have to worry about that. I do like that umbrella, though, very cool. Uh, hmm. Did I pass it? I might have passed it. Yep, there it is, okay. Medicine, 400 bells. Um, just buying one, don't worry. I probably have some back at home, but I figured I might as well multitask for right now. Maybe we will take a look at what's available here. Uh, analog kitchen scale, oh, that is tempting. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. I just want more kitchen stuff. <laughs> Eventually, I will make my kitchen, and it'll be beautiful. What is this? We got like a tarot cards and a magic ball fortune telling set. That's a thousand bells. Interesting, I don't think I, I have anything that would fit with that, but it does look really cool. Over this way, we have a little poster board. Cork board, uh, 1400 bells. It's it's cool, actually that'd be fun for like a bedroom, so maybe I'll take that, because eventually we'll get like an upstairs, I think. That'd be fun for the bedroom. Um, interested in tool cart, 2400 bells. I think I actually have one already, so I don't need that too much. Uh, over this way we have a laptop. Oh, that's so cool. 70,000 bells for a laptop. I'm honestly tempted, but it just I really need that money for other projects, but I would love to have some kind of computer for whatever, like I said, I work on a bedroom. I would love to have some kind of like, you know, device in there, either be a laptop or a computer or something like that, or a game scouts. We already have the Switch because, you know, it gives you that at the very beginning. So who knows, but that's still pretty cool. Anyways, I will continue to, you know, pick up more things as we're looking around the island, but I gotta go and save Pashmina now. <laughs> She's sick with the cold. I need to help her out. So she is in here. And I don't know if we'll get a reward for this or anything, but it's not really about that for me. It's about improving you know, our relationship with all the uh, different villagers. I wish my head would please stop spinning. Blah, Chewy. Don't get any closer. This is only half as fun as it looks. It doesn't look fun at all. Really, that'd be great. Yep, okay, so <laughs> if I cancel, I I should be so upset. Here you go. Yeah. Woo. That's, that should help, thanks. Wow, feels better already. Don't know what I'd do without you. Thanks. Here, let me give you the mesh cap. Thanks again. The mesh cap? All right. Uh, you gotta take care of yourself too, Zebra, or next time it's gonna be me saving you. I wouldn't mind. Alrighty then, so glad is feeling better. She should still bed rest for the rest of the day. Just because she feels better doesn't mean her body's not still fighting something. Um, so it's always good to just have that rest when you've been ill. Mesh cap. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Has a Nintendo on it, or at least an abbreviation of Nintendo. Also, let's learn this thing that, of course, Kyle gave us a gold armor. Yep, there we go. So yeah, let's keep running around the town. I still have to go up to that one corner and uh, hit that one rock. We'll get some of the fruit now that we have some more inventory space, and I'll also catch a bug, because that is for the Nook Miles. Very cool, I think I need to get one more, which is great, because there's a pond skater right over this way. Can I get him though? Yeah, I can. <laughs> awesome. And was that my Nook Miles? I guess not. Maybe we need one more on top of that. So for right now, um, yeah, I don't need that. I need the shovel. And I should be able to do that and we should be good with this. Oh, it's the money rock, here we go. So let's just try to get as much of this as we can. I'm just gonna keep pressing the button. One more, yeah, awesome. So that was 8,000 bells right there for that one. I think it sometimes varies how much it gives you, but this time it gave us a lot, so that's exciting. So of course, like I said before, our little orchard here is really starting to grow. And we're going to sort of get the fruit of our labor. That's a good pun. Uh, we're gonna get the fruit of our labor here. Got some pears, cherries, basically, you know, all sorts of different things. But I'm glad that this tree is growing. Despite the fact that it's so close to the shoreline, I thought that would maybe affect it. But so far, it's fine. I might use these to just plant more. You know, why not? And there's another one growing back this way. I don't know if that one's too close to the rock, but the fact that it's grown as far as it has is a good sign. But it would just be right about here, I think. Yep. 
And with that, I could just go ahead and plant a couple more of them. So we have lots of pears, lots of cherries, um, but we don't have as many, well, I don't know what we've really planted so far. So I'm just gonna do one more there, and then one more here. And I think we'll leave it at that for now. If we get any more fruit, if we get more um, apples and peaches or the other things we're looking for, if we could get those soon, that'd be awesome. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm glad that we're making so much progress with everything in that regard. And the best way to just sort of continue with that is going to be going to more islands and stuff. So we'll have to see how that goes. But for right now, we got some bamboo to get. But yeah, I'm thinking I might put some extra time to the game today. I might uh, spend today's episode just getting um, all the daily dues done, get some extra Nook Miles, and then next episode maybe I'll check out Red. We will uh, go to some islands and stuff. Right now, I'm just sort of trying to help out all my villagers and hang out with them and stuff, especially Lionel. I haven't seen him yet, but I'm sure he's uh, a bit busy moving in. Anyways, there we go. We got a common blue bottle, and that should be my fifth one. Yep. It's right over this way, get 150 for that. Talk to your neighbors. I've been working on it, but we'll work on it even more. And we got one last uh, bamboo thing here to get. I still haven't really made too much bamboo stuff, but at the same time, I haven't really needed to. But I am glad that Red is here. I definitely wanna take advantage of that, because he's only been here once before this. So it's just been a long time coming, waiting around for him to show up again. I guess he's been here twice. He was here the first time where we could just talk to him, and then the second time he was here with his boat. But now, I guess he'll just occasionally return, maybe it's like once a week, once every other week. I'm not really sure, but I'll keep checking every day for him and we'll buy from when we can. Um, a lot of you were suggesting, and I, I thank you for the suggestion, oh, she's not home, um, that apparently I should try donating um, a fake picture. So I need to buy a fake picture. I don't know if I can buy more than one, but we'll find out whenever we do that. Uh, but apparently you can get Nook Miles for doing that. Is this a different dragonfly? Because ever since I caught that one and realized it was a different one from the other dragonfly I caught, I've been curious. There we go. Oh, Gigi's clapping for me. Okay, it's a darn dragonfly. I guess because it sort of has that green and blue coloring. Oh, here's a money tree. Excellent. So Celia's not home. Stu's not home. Oh, here's Celia. Oh, I like your sweater or jacket or whatever it is. It's a jacket. How's your day going, Feathers? Uh, late on me. I'm glad for, for weather like uh, this that's perfect for air drying my laundry. I think you said that yesterday too. What's on your mind? Uh, do you want this? I'm gonna give her, do we have a butterfly still? Uh, yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and give her a common blue bottle. Here you go. Oh, what an extraordinary common blue bottle. What a great specimen. Thanks for finding this for me. I love it. I'd feel bad accepting this for free, so I hope you take this 390 bells in return, along with my thanks. Oh, you didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. And we'll talk to her one more time. Uh, let's chat. I hear you harvested a lot of fruit yesterday, Zebra. Now you've got me imagining all the treats I might bake if I had all that fruit on hand. <laughs> uh, if I had any extra fruit, I'd give it to you, but I need to sell some of it. That's sort of the whole point of me uh, planting as many as I have. Anyways, right over here, we got ourselves another thing. Oh, so I did see Stu up there, so I'll take advantage of that soon enough. But I'm just trying to make sure I get everything else too. Because there has to be a message in a bottle over here, I think. Because we checked all the other parts of the island, right? I didn't see any. Here it is! Okay. So there we go, and then we will grab these two shells. So what will this message say? Um, I was just zoning out in the bathtub when a great DIY idea popped into my head that I had to write down. My great ideas in this bottle here. Take a chance on it, you'll see. Try it and see what happens. Wishing you luck, Cyrano. Um, bonfire. We already, yeah, that's one of the first DIY recipes we get. <laughs> Weird. Well, we can give it to somebody else, we can sell it, we can do something with it for sure. Um, but for right now, I do wanna just check the final, oh yeah, a little bit of this island for, uh, or this part of the island for more fossils. But then after that, I want to uh, talk to Stu up there. So anything else over this way? Not looking like it. Haven't seen Apple yet, have I? I guess not. Uh, but Stu, hey, how are you doing? And there's Lionel's house. Hey, it's Zebra. Let's talk. You look great today. I'm feeling pretty fashionable too. I already have food stain on me today. Yeah, you do look great. 
Hey, what do you need? Let's go ahead and, hit and give him a butterfly too. I mean, the bugs don't even really sell for too much, so I might as well. Whoa, is this really a paper kite butterfly? Did you catch it yourself? Thanks, I can't wait to introduce her to the other bugs in my house. Well, to the bugs in the floor. The bugs in my walls are being jerks this week. Oh, yikes. Thanks, Eva, here, a baseball cap, just for you. Oh, he's so sweet. All right, so we get another hat. Everybody's giving hats out today. Also, just how are you doing? I wanna to talk to you a bit more. I'm so sleepy. Anyway, what's going on with you? What's the latest? Have you talked to the new person who moved in here today? I'm gonna to talk with them lots. I'm gonna to talk to them until they're sick of me and we'll be the bestest friends. <laughs> Off I go. Ooh. All right, well, cool. I wanna do the same thing. I wanna to talk to them, catch up, see how things are going since yesterday. They moved in quick, though, which is pretty crazy. All right, so uh, what's going on with this one? Up oh, here he is, wow, look at him. He loves the city life, I suppose. Little piece of home he brought with him. Hey, so Zebra, I did some real thinking about what we talked about before. And you're right, I should totally live here on this island with you and your friends. So, I'm here, and I'm going to start living the island life right now. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna have a lot of cardboard left over after all of this, but that's okay. You should see the kinds of things folks are building with cardboard these days. I've seen it, Stu build a chair. Oh man, once I start redecorating, I never stop. It's a real problem, help me. You know what? I'm calling it, the House of Lionel is open for business. Cool, I just gotta keep talking to him. Time is money, money is fashion, and fashion is fame. What I'm saying is I've gotta hurry up with this. I think he's trying to tell me to leave him alone. Just wait until I get this place straightened up. I'm going to have a crazy elegant tea party. One more time. I can't do anything until I get all of these boxes unpacked and put away. You know what? I'm calling it the house. Okay, so yeah, now he's starting to repeat himself. Anyways, we've talked to three villagers today, so that's our Nook Miles done. We're right over here. Cool stuff. And pop balloons, if we see any, we'll go for it. But for right now, I'm glad we got to see Lionel. I really can't wait to see how his house shapes up. But if we have anything we want to put out by his house to decorate it a little bit, you know, it's always a great opportunity. I don't think we have anything right now. Um, that we might wanna use. Uh, we have analog kitchen scale and corkboard. Now I wanna keep those things. Uh, I did not see the baseball cap. Oh, that's cool. I don't know, a TN, I think that says. I don't really know what that stands for, but uh, cool. So what else is going on around here? I'm looking basically just for more fossils, which there could be some, there could not be. Only one way to find out, really, and that's to run around and look. But maybe we really should, if we're still gonna be looking for two more villagers, we need a lot more space for that. So maybe making an incline up here would be a good idea. Uh, we'll have to see what our town rating is at the end of today's episode, for sure. And maybe we can improve it somehow, some way, even by just putting more stuff out. We already have, like, with the little junkyard area over here. <laughs> it's also the noise area. I don't like being around there very much. I'll definitely fix it eventually. It's just to see if it'll improve my star ranking. Because I've been really struggling with that. Anyways, we got plenty of sticks around today. I'm really trying to make sure I get all those. But I'm not seeing any more fossils, so maybe we really just had four. Sort of a bit of a shame. But that's okay, it happens. Yep, so that's looking like all of it. So with that being said, I'm going to head down. We'll go over to uh, Blathers and we'll donate some stuff. And then I think I'll be good for uh, just selling a bunch, too. So Blathers is right over this way, as per usual. But our, our island is getting quite crowded. Like I said, eventually I do want to sit down and sort of figure things out in terms of laying it all out. But I know that now is not a good time. Eventually we do get the ability to like move hills and stuff. Like we can set up more inclines and like other things. But I don't want to, so I don't want to really try to change things now if I'll, I'll have the ability to change them more effectively later. There's just better things to focus on. I know the stamp rally. I've already participated though, so I'm not super interested. He's gonna tell me this every day, isn't he? Anyways, I want you to assess some fossils. We have four of them, and I can only hope that some of them are new. Uh, yes, okay, one of them at the least is not a part of our collection, so I will definitely be donating that. We'll see what it is. Yep, make a donation. Yep, it's just when I expected that. An Acanthostega. Acanthostega. Interesting. 
Who, who could it be? It is an Ancanth Acanthosega. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved blah, 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 blah. All right then, so are you gonna tell us about it? Yeah, okay. Wonderful, it is a fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Ancanth Acanthostega, said to be one of the earliest amphibians, it existed well before the dinosaurs. Because they lived as fish not long before, they still had gills and very webbed hands. The toss to toss away the life they knew and adventure onto unknown lands. They must have, had, have been very brave. Hmm. Does it still count as bravery if you have no understanding of what you're doing? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Alrighty, and that's very, very cool. Uh, happy to have that extra thing in the museum. As long as I can like add one thing a day. You know, if I could do that every day of the year, that'd be 365 things to check out by the end of the year. But I do sort of agree with him, right? He asked if, is it brave if they don't know what they're doing? I sort of kind of agree and sort of don't because the question's interesting and I think that, you know, it's about bravery. And I don't know why I'm going into this conversation now, I'm just sort of, you know, <laughs> it was on my mind, but a lot of people have asked them what bravery is, it's you know not being scared. But I think that bravery is being scared, but does oh hi Apple, but deciding to push through it anyways, right? Because we think, you know, eating a slice of pizza isn't scary. I mean, and you so why would I say that I'm brave for eating pizza, you know? Obviously it's not scary and I'm not scared, but that wouldn't make me brave. I think that doing something, regardless of the fact that I am scared or not, like pushing past that fear. I think that's what makes somebody brave. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get some shells. <laughs> Tangent aside, we're gonna sell some shells, dinosaur bones, all that kind of stuff, and the bugs. And of course, this bonfire thing, since I don't need it. Uh, yeah, let's see how much money that makes us. Hopefully another like 10 to 15. 14,000, nice, awesome. Exactly around what, what I wanted, so we're up to 41,000 bells. Um, and we'll talk to Apple, how is she doing? A tool cart, they are so in right now. <laughs> Are you gonna buy one? I should buy one to be in too. I mean, you should buy one because you want one. Time to consult my wallet. Could I buy it and give it to her? I mean, I could, but that'd be a very expensive gift. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave that out for right now. Anyways, that was still pretty good. I definitely need to organize my inventory and I have to register this Rockin' KK song. Um, and we also have to check out the town center. I want to shop there. I want to check out the lost and found. And then finally, see if our town ranking has gone up with the event of Lionel moving in. Maybe I'll have to also craft some stuff that Lionel's house could use. I'm not really sure what that might be, but I'm sure there's something we can figure out. And that's what I really want to focus on is helping Lionel um, get a little more situated with that. So first off, just some rusted parts. Maybe I should just take those and sell them because I've been sitting there for a long time. I was hoping they would just go away, but they just don't seem to. Uh, so 100 bonus miles right there. Very nice. And let's redeem some just to see if there is a... Uh, I don't know about this stone fence. No, okay, I already have it. Okay, with that, I'm pretty sure I have every fence done. I have to. But there's still more we can do. Um, if we go to Nook Shopping, go to Special Goods, anything new here. KK Soul, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. I say that and then I end up having it. But uh, <laughs> we'll try again. And uh, I will put some money away in ABD now, since I, I don't know if I'll be popping back in later. But uh, we really don't need more than 5,000. Well, actually, I haven't talked to Mabel, or the Abel sisters just yet. I'll definitely do that, but 5,000 still. Um, we're over 400, so if we get 131,000 more bells, we'll be able to pay off our loan, which would be exciting. Um, but I'll also probably want to get Nook to set up the incline soon. There's a couple of things I want to figure out. But for right now, Isabel! Give me my rating. It's probably, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. It's probably still one out of five, but you never know. Uh, let's talk on evaluations. Yeah, we did it! We got it to two stars! There's some positive buzz floating around about our island. Folks are starting to take notice. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I keep hearing all things should be in moderation, but an island's image is worth working hard for, ain't it? Well. Me and my bro will be backing you up from behind the scenes, so you better just do your best. Capiche? Who is this? Is this red? I don't know. Well, there you have it. Compared to previous reports, the island natural environment is getting some positive feedback, and all it took was adding a junkyard. <laughs> okay, we'll eventually remove that. I don't know if our town can go back down. 
but I will be removing it as we add more villagers and give them stuff. But that doesn't mean our work is done, not in the slightest. It means it's time to work all the harder to improve the island's natural landscape. If there's one thing I believe, it's that you can never have too many flowers. Just imagine this island covered in lovely explosive blooms and sweet aromas being carried by, on the, by the breeze. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? <laughs> and there you have it. Just let me know the next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? Not for right now, but I am so happy about that. We finally got it to two stars. And like, I don't know, maybe to some people, that's not a big deal, but I worked really hard for that. So I'm happy about it for sure. So with that being said, I think one thing we'll do now is we'll march over to the Able Sisters. Oh, look at them singing. <laughs> okay, cool. But I wanna go over to the Able Sisters, see if there's anything we can get from them. And then on top of that, we will try to do some crafting to sort of see what might fit Lionel's personality that we can make for the outside of his house. Hopefully there's something cool. Hi there, Mabel. Oh, I do like that sweater over there, that's cool. So these clothing options we've seen, but let's just go into the uh, the closet and see. Get a closer look. I'm still pretty happy with our current outfit though. Um, we have the acid watch jacket, which I have the jeans, so I just feel like I don't, I don't wanna stack that up. Cardigan shirt combo, not too bad actually. Um, we also have the energetic sweater with a bit of a collar. Some nice pastel colorings. Fishing vest, <laughs> CJ would love that. Fitness tank, that's not too bad. Um, guide shirt, I guess for guides? I don't really know. Um, there's also the apron skirt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've seen the jogging shorts. Now we have kung fu pants, wow. Uh, whoa, where are we going? We got the blossoming kimono. Yeah, I like this, the oversized, oversized sweat dress. So I guess it's supposed to, oh, you can't wear pants with it though. I think it would look cool if you had an oversized sweater and pants, but I guess I just don't let you do that. That's sort of a shame. And then we have the denim caps. We of course are already wearing one. We get the bear cap. And it's in all sorts of different colors too. Uh, some other kind of glasses. These are brow line glasses. Don't think I need those too much. Bubble gum. Okay. Uh, we got the uh, ladder shades again and the rhinestone shades. Those are fancy. And then just some like different socks and stuff. Ooh, we got basketball shoes this time, but they're not black and white. Okay. We got some like golden pair, purple, blue, uh, like a cyan, a bluish green, orange, pink, and red. I do like the red, but I don't think it matches well. I just, I like these kind of shoes a lot. I just don't see a color combo that really speaks to me. I think we'll go for those. Uh, I don't know if they're what I want to wear right now, but I, I think that eventually I could use those. Um, so I'll purchase those. I don't want to wear what I picked out. There we go. This outfit is still pretty cool. And, yeah, we already checked out everything else, except for, you know, some of the, uh, Community made things, haven't seen too much. I haven't been sent really any uh, codes for things to check out. If you guys had any suggestions for things, let me know. Maybe we'll make an episode out of it. If I get enough uh, code suggestions on costumes to check out, we'll, we'll just do a whole episode of taking a look at what you guys have made. And like I said, if I make anything, I'll definitely share it. I think it's sooner or later, I will um, probably try to make something. I just haven't found the time to, because I'd really want to sit down and figure it out, you know? Um, but with that being said, let's go back home now and get to crafting. I really want to see what kind of things we can consider for Lionel's um, yard. Maybe he's the first person we'll sort of set his house up like we do with ours. Get some fencing, get some uh, flowers, that would be cool. Uh, let's craft. Maybe I'll get him some hedges as well, but let's just sort of see what's new. Um, and also, like, there's housewares, miscellaneous, wall-mounted, Accessories, here's the golden armor. So I guess we can actually wear this. I mean, this other stuff is wearable. Yeah, we get the log pack and the recycled boots. Interesting. Um, other, so here's all of our fencing and like the hedges too. Uh, I'm definitely tempted with the hedges. I would have to get some clumps of weeds out, um, which I do have a decent chunk of them. Um, but we could also do something like a stone fence. I feel like that fits Lionel's personality a bit. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. We'll make the stone fence. Um, I don't have too much stone right now, but uh, I'll have to, like, I don't know how many it makes. We'll just make one stone fence. I don't think so. That would be very time consuming. Um, but we will make three sets of them, no matter how much it makes right now. Keep crafting. And let's do that one more time. Okay. And as you can see, we made this, another stone fence. Let's see what else we can make. Uh, so this is like craftable, I mean, it's all craftable, I thought, but okay. 
um, a cutting board, which is really cool. Oh, craftable as in I have the materials to make it right now. We got some seasonal recipes, like a green leaf pile, basket uh, pack. Ironwood kitchenette, yeah, that's why I favorited. So I guess my best bet would just be doing everything and taking a look around. Because I'm trying to see, like, what kind of cool things can we put outside for him that might look nice. You know, either it be outside furniture or some decorations. Something like that would be cool. I don't think he needs a fire, exactly. You know, there's always, like, the clothes line, but I know that some of our other villagers already have that. So I do want to look at, is there anything that we can make for him that might make his house stand out from the rest? Oh, the, the, the swinging bench would be cool. So maybe that. Swinging bench. Uh... Oh, maybe the well would be cool around there. We have the uh, brick oven. This requires a lot of materials, but we have a good chunk of those. Um, so maybe, I don't know if he's much of like the chef type of person, but he might be for sure. Okay. Uh, we have the bamboo noodle slide. Yeah, just sort of taking a look around and seeing what other options we have. Not, none of the Easter stuff. And that's really all we have. I, I It feels like we have so much more, which is a crazy thing, but I suppose not. I am curious about the steel flooring. Is this like a stage that we can set up? I really don't know what that will work, look like. Maybe we could do that for, like I said, I wanna make like a a stage for KK whenever he does come by. But I think we'll work on some stuff here. Either the brick well or the brick oven. Maybe the brick well would be cooler. Um, for that I need clay wood and a shovel. For whatever reason we need a shovel for it. Um, so clay wood, how do I make the shovel then? Flimsy shovel is going to be five hardwood. Okay then, I can do that. Uh, so, wait, I'm doing, no, 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 that was the right thing. Uh, so we just need like raw materials, which is weird because it doesn't really organize it that way sometimes. But we needed, this should be enough hardwood. We needed a good chunk of normal wood and then clay. We'll take out 30 just in case. But you can see I have so many iron nuggets and I have even more rocks. It's just a crazy, crazy amount. But also, yeah, how, mu how much of the fencing? I got 30 stone fencing, so it makes 10 each. Good to know. We also got the Nook Miles, so that should be, what was it, 750 of it? Something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll also check out a wardrobe and figure that out soon. I've already sell sold most of the shells I could find, so I can't really do that. Okay. Well, good to know things are going on, right? So, let's craft. I was looking at, first, this flimsy shovel. Looks good. And then lastly, we just need to make that well. And it's nothing too crazy, but I think it'll be cool. And then we can also maybe get some flowers. I wish Leaf was around so we could buy some good variety. But for right now, this is fine. So brick well, maybe we'll put this a little bit closer to the like, I mean, it doesn't make too much sense to have a, a well by a river or, or a pond, does it? I don't really know. Um, but I think it'll still look cool. Maybe we'll leave it like that for right now. I don't see anything else that's like, oh, I gotta get that, you know? Or maybe we'll get like a natural garden chair, but if we do that, I feel like it needs a table, and this wooden block table just doesn't really fit. Yeah. Okay, well, unless we wanna do something like the kettle bathtub, we need a campfire for that. Okay. Oh, that would be pretty cool for the campsite, the rope fence, sort of have it roped in. I feel like that would look cool. I definitely wanna eventually make fencing for the, uh, the, the park. Oh, that would actually look really nice. The log chair. Oh, we have enough for it. Let's get that out there too. Okay, so his house is gonna look a little fancy, I suppose, I would hope. And with that, I guess it's mostly everything. While we're home, I might wanna register this one KK song. We'll put some other stuff away in my storage. That'll all be great. So yeah, let's get over this way. <laughs> this is a good song, but we have Rockin' KK. Oh, this is a classic. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, so with that done, um, we'll put away some of our clothes, just like that, and any of the extra materials I don't need. The kitchen scale and the cork board and the clay. All pretty good things just to get out of the way for right now. And also the, the clumps of weeds. I do want to keep these. These are what we just made. And then lastly, before we leave, we will change our uh, wardrobe real quick. 
nothing crazy. I just want to change something and then probably just change right back uh, just so that I can get that Nook Miles done. Since it's such an easy one to do, I might as well. I think it's doubled as well. So it just it's, it's probably the fastest way to get some miles. Um, just like do that really quickly. And then get changed again and change back into our classic t-shirt. There we go. So yeah, with that being said, I think we're just gonna head out back over to Lionel and set up his yard a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Um, I wanna get that fencing out. We obviously don't need 30 of it. Um, that's just, you know, so I can sort of figure that out. I do wanna give him some nice space. Okay, well, maybe on this side it'll be a little tight, but then around the corner, I wanna give him some nice like front yard. I don't want it to go too far though. I want enough space so that he can walk in and out and it looks good. Really, that does not look very nice. Okay, there it goes. Uh, I was a little worried there for a moment. Um, I will dig up some of these flowers because they're just sort of in the way. Maybe we can get them around so that they're a little bit more organized. I wonder if we dig these up and put them down, will that improve our town ranking? Who knows? And like it's maybe a tad bit inconvenient because he can only access his house from one side, but it sure does look nice, doesn't it? Uh, so let's do that. Okay. Perfect. So I think that makes for a nice little lawn yard area, you know? And maybe we could just keep wrapping around like that. I guess that would work fine. I just don't know how that's gonna look by the end of it. So, I mean, if it doesn't look good, it's pretty simple. We just pick it back up. The only issue with this is that we just don't have too much room for him to have like flowers and stuff, but I think that's okay. Can I not put it here? Do I not have enough? Oh, there we go. So let's do that. That's not too bad. Might wanna run around to this side now. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit confused as I'm laying this out. There we go. <laughs> it's all about the angling. Perfect. So I think that looks quite cool. Yeah, it has like a little fortress. Um, so I, I just, I don't entirely know if that'll be the best, but what I can do right now is I can set up a log chair. Just like that. And that way he can just sort of sit and chill in this front yard. How's that? I think that's nice. It's, I'm not, I'm no interior decorator, you know, or exterior decorator in this situation, but I think it looks fine. And then, you know, it's not really for his house specifically, but I thought it'd be cool just to have like a well somewhere around here, even though it's near a body of water. Uh, so I don't know how useful a well would be in this situation. It looks nice, doesn't it? Can we interact with it? I don't think we can. It'd be cool if we could like make the bucket come up. Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. See, so, let's see what our extra Nook Miles were. Uh, right over this way, 150, turns into 300, very nice. So I think if there's one last thing I wanted to do for today's episode, it was going to be setting up some extra bridges and inclines. I don't have to pay for them right away, it's a big thing. So even though I don't really have the money right now, I'm going to start plotting that out so that I can really just know what I'm working with. And maybe, I don't have the money right now, but maybe next episode I'll buy a new housing plot and we'll figure that out. They are still singing. Well, I like it, it adds a lot of atmosphere. So we'll just try this out for right now. Uh, hello, Mr. Tom Nook. Okay, ah, oh, Zebra, hello, hello. Yeah, this is a construction consultation set counter. Uh, let's talk infrastructure. So, uh, not selling land, but instead bridges and inclines. Let's build a bridge. So, maybe I'll get a better one this time. Like, it does cost more money, but I can just chip away at it this time a little bit more, especially since this one won't be as uh, time sensitive for me to do, because I don't really need to be on that one part of the island desperately, uh, but it would just be nice to have it, like the, the second part of the inclined area. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the suspension bridge. Yep, so we'll make that marker. And then also, we're not done. Uh, we are also gonna get another incline. And maybe we'll make this incline a little nicer, even though I do like the normal uh, basic incline. I think it looks nice. Uh, so, wait, what's happening? Give me pointers, I didn't read any of that. There, there are a few things about when selecting a location for bridge construction, we wanna get it right. Um, it's a lot like setting up a tent. Let's start by talking a little bit about how the bridge marker kit I gave you. Just find a good spot. Okay, so 
I don't think I can get a bridge one because I have the incline. Is that what you're saying? I think so. So let's go ahead and get that set up for right now. And then I'll come back to see if maybe then he can give me the incline. Is uh, Maybe that's the issue, I'm not really sure. So let me run all the way back over there and we'll figure it out uh, for right now though. Get the vaulting pole. And then from here, I know of course I could just uh, use the incline, but just to save myself a little bit of time, get the ladder out. Because I just wanted this to be maybe about here. I think this is like a nice little area for it. Uh, so bridge marker kit, build here. Yeah, that's perfect. I like it. Let me imagine it, just to be sure. Yeah, I like that, it's so cute. It's so quaint. Okay. So of course he's gonna be building that. Yeah! <laughs> I put the spot for a bridge, let the land connect. So I can't pay for that right now. We will chip away at that eventually. But that's just sort of, you know, for me, it's sort of a marker to remind me what we're doing, what we're trying to get done. And it allows the villagers to get over to that side, no problem. Because right now they don't have a way to do that. Hi, Apple. So back over to Tom Nook. Let's see if he'll let me get another incline figured out now. Or do I have to pay that off before he'll let me? Am I going to become too much of a liability for him? He's making all these plans. Maybe there can only be one of those little uh, guys out at a time. Can I not hop on? There we go. Hey, buddy. I got that bridge figured out, sort of. <laughs> so, infrastructure, and then bridges and inclines. Right now we are collecting funds in order to build our new suspension bridge. As such, I'm not discussing other changes, but what's on your mind? Okay, so wanted to make sure, and if I am going to be going to different islands as of next episode, I might want to uh, go ahead and actually pay for a house now, because I don't want to run to another villager and not have a housing for them. So we're just gonna take out 10,000. Wait, no, wrong thing. Uh, oh yeah, I'm depositing right now, that's a problem. Uh, withdraw. That should be good. Excellent. Unless it's more expensive this time, but I don't think it will be. All right, Mr. Tom Nook. So, ooh, not what should I do, but let's talk infrastructure. Uh, sell some land. Yep. 10,000 bells, I got it. Sure will. Here you go. So we'll probably put this somewhere near Lionel's house, probably a little north of it. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, like I said. Like, the layout, it's one of those things where I just sort of have to get everything. Once we get everything, we can reorganize it, because I don't want to actively be reorganizing while I'm still setting everything up because I feel like I'll have to re-reorganize eventually and it'll just be a big mess. So it might just be good to let the mess be a mess for right now and sort of just figure it out as we go along. Because we definitely don't want the house set up on the, the um, highest point just yet if there's no way to, uh, if there's no way to get um, up there right now. So just like right about here. Uh, housing kit, build here. Seems good to me, it's gonna get rid of this tree. Not the end of the world. So yep, just like that. I was gonna get rid of both of those trees, that's fine. Okie doke. So we got a nice spot there. And with that, I think that's basically everything I wanted to do in today's episode, it's been a ton of fun. Next episode will probably be on the same day. We'll go and talk to Red, we will, uh try to figure some stuff out with that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.